Hi, Derps and Chortles. Sorry, I was busy being an expert at banjo and tambourine. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna come over there now. If you're wondering, yes, I did just get out of the shower. So, this week's theme on Derps and Chortles is... I don't, I don't know. What is the theme? Let's go to the computer. Alright, Here's the computer. Alright, there's me requesting that we think of a theme. And Steven posted one, two, three, four comments. Let's see what they say. Do a video on a particularly interesting animal in nature. Write and act out a poem through interpretive dance. Give a lesson on something historical. Perform open heart surgery on someone. Let's do this! So I'm gonna talk about seahorses. Yes, seahorses, the adorable things you know and love. Mystery, we snaw, we snaw. SpongeBob reference. If you don't get it, leave. So the main interesting thing about seahorses is the way that they mate and reproduce. And yes, I'm talking about seahorse sex. Seahorse courtship lasts for about several days. And then there's a lot of big sciencey words, but basically what happens is the lady puts the eggs inside the male, and then the male gives birth. So there's that. The male usually gives birth from somewhere between 100 and 200 babies. Next is writing and acting out a poem through interpretive dance. So I've written my poem, and then interpretive dance Scott over there. Hey. Yeah, shut up. Mm. He's gonna do an interpretive dance as I read. I am sorry, dear friend. I did not mean to toss you aside into a pit of shame and stench. But I have used you up and must rid you of your smell so as to save my nose. But fear not. For you shall be born anew when the cycle is done, and I shall place you back onto my foot. It's a poem about dirty socks. Next thing! A history lesson! Let's go over that way. So I'm going to tell you a very historically inaccurate history lesson. Once upon a time, there was a king. He was king of a far off distant land called Pufnukul Land. So, this was very long ago and he ruled many people. The king was kind of a tool though. He decided that to keep control of his subjects, he would pick one at random every day and have them killed in some various gruesome way. And then one day, the subjects of Pufnukul Land decided that they didn't want to be subjects of Pufnukul Land anymore. So, they built a 20 billion times atom bomb. That's an atom bomb, except multiply the power by 20 billion. And then, and then they put it in his soup, and he ate it, and he exploded a lot. The end. Now, open heart surgery. Let's go to the garage! Now, for open heart surgery, what you need is a giant scary saw, and the person you're doing open heart surgery on. And this is Pikachu. So, I'm gonna make a slight cut right, right here, and then just, just keep cutting until you, you know, just keep on cutting. Yep, yep, okay, okay, okay. Just pull some fluff out if you, okay, okay. So yeah, this is good. Yeah, and now you see we've, uh, we've gotten to the heart region of the, uh, it's just right, right through here. Now, okay. And blood will start spewing from nowhere. And then I'll be, and then I'll smell like Kool-Aid. <laughs> yeah. So that's open heart surgery. Lydia, I'll see you tomorrow. I fell. I, I fell, but we're still going to the computer. I'm making a video. I know. Get out. <laughs> Stop. Okay. So after that, this is what Pikachu looks like. So that's... And this is what I look like. 